Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Psalm 34 verse 19 The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Romans 5 verses 3 to 4 Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. James 1 verses 2 to 4 Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Isaiah 41 verse 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Psalm 46 verse 1 God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 16 Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Romans 8 verse 18 I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Psalm 23 verse 4 Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. 2 Timothy 4 verse 7 I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Psalm 91 verse 15 He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Hebrews 10 verse 36 You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. 1 Peter 5 verse 10 And the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Romans 15 verse 4 For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide we might have hope. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Psalm 55 verse 22 
Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Psalm 27 verse 1 The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Psalm 118 verse 14 The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Isaiah 43 verse 2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Romans 12 verse 12 Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Psalm 55 verse 16 As for me, I call to God, and the Lord saves me. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13 Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Psalm 34 verses 17 to 18 The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Isaiah 40 verse 29 He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Romans 5 verse 5 And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Psalm 62 verses 5 to 6 Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from Him. Truly He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 8 to 9 We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Isaiah 41 verse 13 for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. Romans 15 verse 5 May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had. Psalm 118 verse 6 The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Isaiah 43 verses 18 to 19 Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Psalm 73 verse 26 My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Isaiah 46 verse 4 even to your old age and gray hairs I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. 
I will sustain you and I will rescue you. Romans 8 verse 37 No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Psalm 121 verses 1 to 2 I lift up my eyes to the mountains where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Isaiah 50 verse 7 Because the Sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know I will not be put to shame. Romans 12 verse 21 Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Psalm 138 verse 3 when I called, you answered me. You greatly emboldened me. Isaiah 54 verse 17 No weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. Romans 5 verses 1 to 5 Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Psalm 144 verses 1 to 2. Praise be to the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. He is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield, in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. Isaiah 58 verse 11 The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 For I am convinced that neither death nor life, either angels nor demons, either the present nor the future, nor any powers, either height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 4 the Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Isaiah 60 verse 1 Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Psalm 27 verse 14 Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Isaiah 61 verse 3 And provide for those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. Psalm 34 verse 17 The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Isaiah 66 verse 9 Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery? 
says the Lord. Do I close up the womb when I bring to delivery, says your God. Psalm 37 verse 7 Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Psalm 40 verses 1 to 3 I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him.